Hi everyone, Jason here. I am back on my juice box. It's like a soapbox where I get my right to reply, but only a little juicier. You'll know that if you saw the first episode. And by the way, on that note, thank you so much for the thousands of people that not only watched it, gave the thumbs up, but also commented too. Now I say that gave the thumbs up, genuinely on the YouTube channel, we had just one person put a thumbs down. And I've got a sneaky feeling whilst having the dark, but I think I might know who that one person is that gave it the thumbs down. The second episode I've entitled, The Greatest Magic Trick of All Time. I've seen it done over the last 20 years. It's not done by David Blaine, you think it is. It's not done by Dynamo, or even by the greatest illusionist of all time, David Copperfield. No, Slapper by Thigh by Jibbity Ho. It has been done by the NHS. The National Health Service here in the UK have managed to pull it out the bag. The greatest illusion of all time. They should be on Britain's Got Talent. No, they should be on World's Got Talent. Here's what they managed to do. They can turn five portions of fruits and vegetables into one. Actually, they can turn 10 portions of fruits and veg into one. But it doesn't stop there. They can turn up to 100 portions of fruits and vegetables into one portion in a nanosecond. How do they do this? Well, if it was real magic, I wouldn't be able to tell you. So actually, they don't use magic. Do you know what they use instead? Sheer stupidity. Good news is, they give an example. If you have two glasses of fruit juice and a smoothie in one day, that still only counts as one portion. What? And how do they explain this mysterious disappearing act? Where do all the fruit and vegetables go when you put them in a juicer? Well, according to them, it's all about the fiber. They say, well, could you remove the fiber? It no longer counts towards your five portions of fruits and veg a day. Their argument is you remove the fiber, therefore it can't count as a portion. Here's the madness of this. No matter how many smoothies either that you have, you take five bananas, you put them in the smoothie, you smoothie them up, the NHS goes papa, and then all of a sudden it's one portion. So this is why it's the best magic trick of all time. The latest research from the scientists of the ICL have shown that it's not five portions of fruits and veg that we need. What the study showed is if you did manage to have 10 portions of fruits and veg, every single day. Look at these stats. You reduce the risk of heart disease by 24%, strokes by 33%, the risk of cardiovascular disease by 28%, the risk of total cancer by a massive 13%, and overall reduction in premature deaths by a massive 31%. It wasn't even a small study. Two million people took part in the study. So there's no question that we need to encourage more people to have more fruits and vegetables. That's why I'm on my juice box. Most people struggle with the guideline with five a day. So when they upped it and they said, look, you could get some real benefits, some solid benefits if you had 10 portions a day. The NHS went, well, I don't know, most people can have 10 portions a day. Ah, somebody said, yeah, but they, if they put them in juice or smoothie, no, that doesn't count. No, I think you'll find that it doesn't because of the fiber. Oh, but there's fiber in the smoothies. Oh, I, I don't argue. The craziest part of all of this is that fiber doesn't feed the body. They know this, the professionals know this. The NHS knows this. Fiber doesn't feed the body. Fiber's there to act as a brush, if you will, to help keep things going. We need very little fiber every single day, less than a handful to keep things moving. What they don't understand is there is a world of difference between shop-bought, heavily processed, heat-blasted, pasteurized juice that has all the fiber, including insoluble fiber taken out, and the freshly extracted cold pressed juice that you make at home that still has soluble fiber, pectin that still keeps things moving. Please follow this logic through. If fiber, and they know this, cannot penetrate through the intestinal wall, and it's only the juice contained within the fiber that feeds the cells of the body, so it's only the juice that feeds the body, if you extract that juice from the fibers with a juice extractor, how have you lost the portion of nutrients? How? Seriously, how? Is this, somebody explain how this trick is done. We have got an obesity epidemic. We have a health epidemic here in the UK, like many Western societies. And yet we have our own National Health Service guidelines telling people, look, don't bother juicing or making smoothies. That's the craziness of this. Why would you do anything to discourage anybody from getting fruits and veg? Problem is, this isn't just the advice on the NHS website, but also people that represent the NHS, i.e. doctors. I'm not anti-doctor at all. As many of you know, I was badly asthmatic. I was covered with foot and psoriasis. I had eczema. I was a heavy drinker, heavy smoker. Look, without my asthma pump, 
I would be dead. Without doctors in the pharmaceutical industry, I would be dead. Like with any industry, you can have difference of opinions. This guy here, this, is, this was on This Morning TV with lovely Phil and Holly. This is their resident doctor, Dr. Chris Steele. His exact words are here. Juice diets may not be as healthy as they claim to be. What's his rationale behind it? The fiber. Yes, yeah, so we're back to the fiber again. The, the fiber, you know, the, the stuff that can't feed the human body, stuff that just acts as an intestinal broom. The fiber, not, not, the, not where the nutrients are. The juice extractor extracts the nutrients. What do you think your mouth is? Your mouth is a blender. What do you think your stomach is? Your stomach is a juice extractor. It's extracting, you, you put a carrot into your stomach, it's extracting the juice contained within the carrot to feed the cells and the rest comes out. And again, I'm not saying become a juicerian or a juicerexic or anything else. I'm just saying as a way, as a tool, to get tons of fruits and vegetables in your body, it's gotta be one of the best. I've heard him say before, well, you know, why don't people just eat it? I love that as well, this is a great argument. I remember dealing with a guy once who had type two diabetes. This guy was so overweight, he had some arthritic conditions, he was in a really bad weight and he was huge. And I laid out all the fruits and veg that he was gonna have for 28 days, it was part of the 28 day plan. And the question he said to me was like, Dr. Chris Steele and very other people that say, well, why don't I just eat it? And I remember looking at him in the eye and I said, I don't know why you don't just eat it, but you clearly don't, do you? <laughs> so we've got to find another way to get it in. Eating fruits and vegetables is fantastic if you can do it. If you can eat 10 portions of fruits and vegetables a day in their raw form, preferably, because that's where the nutrients are, then knock yourself out. Don't juice or blend. Everybody's happy. The real problem I've got with people like the NHS and, and some doctors that I see on television spouting this, don't go on a juice diet, don't do juicing. It's not a real way of getting fruits and vegetables in your body. It doesn't really count as more than one portion. The disservice that it does is that for those people that don't just eat it, because they never do, they never get any nutrients in their body at all. These people that are overweight, these people that are on a plethora of medical drugs, these people that are suffering all kinds of different ailments and lifestyle diseases. We're talking about fruits and vegetables grown often in organic soil, freshly extracted as your stomach would have done anyway, and then just goes into your cells. From broccoli, from courgette, from cucumber, from celery. All of the ingredients that there isn't a doctor on earth that would ever dispute are bad for you. In fact, on the same NHS website, it encourages you to eat more fruits and vegetables. It's saying you need more. In fact, the ICL are saying, like I said, that you now need 10 portions and you can cut premature deaths by 31%. 31%, anything that would do that, surely you would massively encourage. Now, the strange thing is, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. There's always a bit of this in every one of the juice boxes, right? Episode one, he didn't read the book. <laughs> I mean, that was the classic of that. Guy slagging off a book he hadn't read. And then you've got Dr. Chris Steele. When I saw him on this morning, I know for a fact, he went on a juice retreat. <laughs> That's the crazy. He went on a juice retreat, which at the end of it, he said he felt great. Now he's on national television. To, and if people listen to this stuff, it's, on, it's, it's Holly, it's Phil, people take it on board. First of all, I've never said we don't need fiber. In fact, in all of my juice plans, you'll find some avocado blended in, a little bit of banana blended in, as well as the freshly extracted juice. In fact, my blend plan is nothing but blends, so there's tons of fiber in. However, even if it's just nothing but freshly extracted juice for five days, particularly cold pressed, made at home, it still has soluble fiber in the form of pectin. And actually, when it comes down to things like IBS, it is the one condition that we get more emails about than anything else. More positive posts on social media and more emails about. One come in, look at this one here. This is Leona Watts. I haven't got time to go through tons of examples, but this is a corker. My genes keep falling down, which is a fab sign. Even more importantly though, my IBS has not triggered once, which is amazing, seeing I used to suffer with it daily. Daily, you have every single day and hasn't suffered with it once. Skin is clearer, I feel refreshed. Made a lifestyle change. Again, that goes against what a lot of people say about juicing is they're just gonna go back because it resets the mind and body, which is beautiful. And this is just the beginning for me, she said. She says she's got a long way to go. Uh, but listen to this, so the doctors told her that she was fat because she's got polycystic ovaries and that'd be hard for her to lose weight and easy to put it on yet they wouldn't even help her. So she's, she's saying, look, thank you, Jason, the team, as you've proven them wrong. Again, they were doing anything deliberately, but so many people are anti-juicing, but yet they haven't got another solution. It's like, if you've got another solution, then fair enough. She goes, I've lost over 14 stone, my BMI has dropped, body fat has dropped, fantastic. Richard Allen's another one, quick one here. 28 pounds down, IBS gone again, irritable bowel syndrome gone, but hey, there's no fiber, there's no fiber. There's what? There's fiber. Acid reflux gone, uh, back and shoulder pains gone. I mean, how can you argue against this? It does my head in. Why would you do anything to discourage anybody? 
from getting more fruits and vegetables inside their body. I just don't understand it and I never will understand it. My clear advice to you is no matter who says it, and that includes the NHS website, that includes a doctor, if anybody tells you that by putting fruits and vegetables into a blender in particular, because it still has the fiber, or even in a juicer, because you still have insoluble fiber too, that they no longer count towards your five a day. If it doesn't make common sense, don't do it. If you can't eat your fruits and veg, then drink them. That to me is good, rational health advice, especially when there's an obesity epidemic, especially when so many people are suffering so many lifestyle diseases, and especially when so many people are taking so many medical drugs. Okay, that's enough for episode two of me on my juice box. The next time I'll be talking about another TV doctor who tells us juicing makes us fat. Make sure you tune in. Oh, and share this with as many people as you can, especially the juicing naysayers that go, what well, about Viva? Till next time, bye. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, more of the same over here. Latest video over here. Don't forget to subscribe and to like, and please share what you see.